Hello, I'm Hamish Jeffcott. Thank you very much for joining me again on my vlogging channel. Um, this week I've been asked to talk about my songwriting and how I write songs. So thank you very much for joining me. Please like and subscribe below and let's get this started. So the short and simple answer to the question is that it differs. It's always different with me and my songwriting. I'm sure some people are different to that and they have a specific way that they sit down and they write a song um but i am completely different it it changes sometimes an idea will just pop into my head and i'll either start humming it into my phone which is a great just device for constant just recordings um or i'll type in some lyrics that i think while i'm walking down the road i'll see something that i that clicks and i start writing it um, I love just writing in general. I will write, I like to write stories, I like to write poems, I like to write um, articles, I like to study because I enjoy writing like the essays. Um, and I, yeah, I'll, for a bit of a change, I'll even write a script. Um, obviously, music and songwriting is my top genre of writing. Um, but I love to write, and that's sort of helps a lot I suppose <laughs> um, but yeah if I'm going to sit down and write a song then a good place to go to check out how I go about doing that is my 30 minute songwriting challenge that was the video before this I believe um, I will sit down think of some chords and I will start writing uh, sort of lyrics the first verse get an idea of where the song's going it's sort of like a is it called greenhouse writing no gardening or garden writing i don't know george R. R. martin does it with game of thrones apparently where you start writing and the world just builds and so i start writing and the song will just build and that's all starts with just a few chords that i've written down <laughs> that's like my usual way that if i'm going right i'm going to write a song today I'll sit down and I will write a song like that. If other other ways that I write songs is, as I said, if I'm, well, if I'm on a walk and I just go, oh, cool, that's a cool tune, I'll start humming it, humming it down the microphone, walking along. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes I look like a absolute nonce walking down <laughs> and people are looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? But, you know, it doesn't matter because I'm writing a song, I'm doing something cool. Uh, and then I, I'll come back and I'll try and work out what I'd written on guitar. Or I'll listen to it, I'll be like, oh, what was that? What am I trying to do there? And then I'll try and work it out on the guitar, work out what key it's in, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll start writing the lyrics to fit the cool tune that I've thought of. Usually it's a bass line. I enjoy a good bass line. Uh, other ways that I'll write songs. Uh, so, what have I said? <laughs> God. I've... So I write guitar, blah, 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 blah. I'll also just write, um, which is quite a simple one, I suppose. But if I find myself in a place where I've got a few minutes, um, then I'll end up just writing. You know, if I'm not too busy doing other stuff, then I'll just end up writing. Even if I am busy doing other stuff and this thing that I'm doing reminds me of something or gives me a certain feeling that I can write about, then I'll write about it. Often when I'm writing, I like to think of a story or a storyline. I don't often, or, well, no, that's a lie. I, I do often write about myself, but that I usually use the emotion that I felt and put it into a different story. That's sort of one thing that I do. Um, also, I like to just think of stories and write on them. Uh, good example of mine would be Ocean Blue. I think I've spoken about it already. But that's a story song that I wrote, which is... Uh, it started off as I was writing a love song, and I decided that I didn't want to write a love song. I wanted to instead write a, a bit of a twisted song. So I ended up writing about <clears throat> the man who loved the woman. It turns out to be some sort of stalker or, you know, a bit of a creep, and he's killed her. And the whole song is building up to the 
end result that you find out that he has uh, drowned her in the sea and her body's getting washed away hopefully before the police come and find her uh hopefully for him <laughs> not hopefully for whoever the parents you know i was thinking along his point of view not her point of view sorry um <clears throat> but yeah otherwise other emotions that i write about like i i often write about my own feelings so the the cell uh that i wrote for blazing strings that is very much a very personal song to me uh it's when i was going through my brain injury i suffered from a lot of depression um and anxieties and all this and i threw that all into this song of it it's quite an angry song i think it was it's a frustration uh in the cell which is quite good to get out it's a really nice song to play live because it really throws me back to how i was and uh shows me how far i've come since it's quite quite lovely uh <laughs> in a weird way but yeah <clears throat> i've got many different ways that i write songs and i think other songwriters will agree with me that there's not really a particular way to just sit down and just do it um but others may completely disagree and if you do agree or disagree please comment below um let me know what you think of my songwriting tactic if you have any more questions for me please comment below just ask me ask away um i'd love to answer them and i would you know it gives me more to talk about on this vlog as well so thank you very much for tuning in again please like subscribe share do you share on youtube but thank you thank you very much and i will see you next time